Hello, everybody. This is Michelle Littwiller. It is Wednesday, November 3rd, and I am here for your weekly Facebook Live. Yay! I have some awesome projects to share with you tonight. So I can't wait to get started. So when you hop on, say hi. Let me know that you're here. If you are watching the replay, you can also let me know that. Or if you're over on YouTube, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. We hit over 5,000 subscribers last week. Thank you, all of you that share and comment. And we're actually at 5,100 today. So um, super excited about that. I see lots of you hopping on today. Hello, Jennifer Hill. I miss you. And I see Carla and Barb and Lisa, Kathy, Carrie, Jane. Um, I see so many uh, friends on here. It is definitely cold here in Michigan, Lori. You got that right. That's why I have this, my Stampin' Up! Um, little jacket that we got in Alaska on because it is cold. And I wore my winter coat today, too. I was very cold. So, thanks for joining me tonight. So, tonight I have three different little projects to share with you. A fun easel card, a little home decor piece, a tiny little home decor piece, and some little mini uh, Christmas cards or gift tags. Uh, you could use them for either or. So that's what we're going to, going to be doing tonight. So let's see how many of you are on here. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, it's good uh, to see you all. Okay, there is so much news in Stampin' Up! going on right now. There's so much. I like made a list to go over it all. So if you are watching the replay and you don't like my chit chat or my updates, go ahead and fast forward. If you're on live, you just got to stick with me to go through a few housekeeping things and then we will get to lots of stamping. So we will do that in a minute. Hi everyone, I'm waving to you. Uh, my grandma says she always likes it when I wave to her. So I was talking to her before I came on here. Okay, we're going to get started. Okay, so the first thing is card club. So my card club, I love my card club. It is amazing. We're around 120 people in our card club. And this month we are featuring the whimsy, uh, this pretty paper anyway. Let me show you. Um, we are what? Uh, we are using, yes, the Whimsy and Wonder Designer Series paper. So this paper I've been waiting because it's been on and out of stock for a while. It's back. And I also did a class, add-on class. And so some of you got this in your add-on class for your retreat. And then you're getting um, a half a pack if you're in the card club. And then you're also going to get some of this ribbon in the card club this month. And then the in-color jewels. So our cards are really pretty this month for Card Club. Um, a little bit, uh, this one is a little bit retro, but super fun, cool cards. And we are using this stamp set right here. I'm basically using the word, so you can use any uh, sentiment set that you want. But if you want the, them to look exactly like mine, this is what you want. Now, if you don't want to commit to my Card Club, I don't know why you wouldn't want to. <laughs> I'm, I'm teasing. But um, you can just go to my website over here, I Will Star Stampers, and click on um, classes and sign up for the card club for a one-time class. So you won't be signing up for anything. Now, if you want the full subscription, then you can sign up, click on the link that says card club, and then you can actually join the card club. Because after six months, six consecutive months, you get some gifts and some fun stuff like that along the way. And everyone loved the little treat I included last month, a cute little gingerbread, because we did gingerbread theme. So card club is awesome. Sign up by the 10th. Also on the 10th is when you're going to want to sign up for Paper Pumpkin, okay? So did you catch my uh, Facebook Live? I did a Facebook Live last week using some alternatives for Paper Pumpkin. And this Friday, all of my subscribers are invited to a Zoom um, on Friday at uh, 7 p.m. We're going to go live and just craft and do our Paper Pumpkins together. Now, if you already did one, just bring a, a past one or something you're working on for Paper Pumpkin. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do before we get started 
is um, tell you about tomorrow. There is an awesome join special that starts. You can join my team tomorrow for only $75 and get to pick out $125 in product. And it's free shipping, and that's a really great deal. I mean, it's normally a great deal for $99, but it's only $75 starting tomorrow through the end of the month. So I would love to have you be a part of my team. It, even if you just love, if you love Stampin' Up!, then you, we would love to have you. So reach out to me if you have questions about that. There's also information on my site. And let's start stamping, okay? Let's get into it. So I am going to be using that paper tonight that I showed you earlier, and I have a really cool card. I need to turn my camera down. So here we go. I don't even have any of the projects finished. Actually, let's make the one little home decor thing first. Okay, so I bought this frame. It's all discombobulated because I was going to make one and then I realized I only have one frame left, so I can't. So this is a frame. Do you see this little frame? I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and it is, I just opened it up, two and a half inches by three and a half inches. So um, this is the frame I got. This is kind of what the contents look like. It's kind of like for a wedding. But um, yeah, so I took it apart and what I did is I measured this and whatever this piece measured, which was like, I don't know, three and a half by two and a quarter or something like that, it was, uh, slightly smaller than the outside of the frame. Anyway, I cut this piece to to fit this, okay? So, we have that. Then, I have this uh, little piece here. It's just a little half inch strip from the back side of this paper. And I have a little piece of white here. So what we're gonna do is I was looking for a little stamp that said, um, so for this, we're not using the Evergreen Elegance. I needed a tiny, tiny Christmas sentiment, and I really wanted to use the one that says it's the best time of the year, but it's a little bit too long. And so I'm just gonna use the Merry Christmas from Peaceful Deer. This is an awesome stamp set. I know a lot of you have it already. And I know, yes, I know, the Deer Punch is on back order still. It's been on back order for a very, very long time. I'm going to tell you right now, if I haven't, if you haven't heard me say this, if we ever get a punch that comes out with a new catalog and you think you want it, just order it right away so you don't have to wait like months to get the penguin punch or the deer punch or the Halloween punch <laughs> because they're always, always popular. So I have my mint macaron ink because that's the color here and we are going to stamp this. Now I have, like I said, I have a really cool card to show with you next. And I'm just going to stamp this right towards the bottom here, like that. Now, what I need to do is grab um, my trimmer and cut this down a little bit because I want it to be skinnier a little bit skinnier so I'm going to which is this is like this, this is pretty skinny already but you could just use your scissors and freehand it uh hopefully I don't cut it off which I almost did I almost cut it let's see okay hi Ru hi Kathy okay so we have our little sentiment here and I'm just trimming the ends down just like this. Hope, I think this is gonna be really pretty because anything with this paper is super, super pretty. So I'm going to take this little half inch strip. So when I cut this little piece down, this was um, this was at the top. It was, yeah, it was at the top here. So when I cut this off, this was a leftover piece and I'm like, this is perfect, I'm gonna use it here. So I'm just gonna add some adhesive, grab your favorite adhesive and we are going to put this down here and then we are going to take this piece and add some mini glue dots here all right let me grab I'm just because it's so little I'm just using the mini glue dot yes Flo I'm glad you like that I'm doing something different today yep definitely something a little bit different I'm just going to put this here 
So if you ordered the fall retreat, most of them got sent today. Um, the rest will get shipped tomorrow, which is early. I think my date was on Friday. And, um, but if you get it like by Friday, just, or even tomorrow, some local ish people might get it tomorrow. Just know the site isn't ready until Friday. I just, I'm trying to get them shipped out early. So we're going to take this. Do you see how that's, that's there with that iridescent paper? We're going to just, so I put the glass there. I didn't glue, I'm not gluing this down. I'm just going to flip this over and then pop this in. Now we're not done decorating yet. But, do you see how that, how pretty that, it looks so much prettier in person than on camera. It always, that's always how it is. I went ahead and I took the stitch snowflakes. Those are in our holiday catalog. And I cut this out with that, uh, the silver, the silver pack of paper that we have. And we can put this up here with a glue dot. So just can stick it right in the center there. And you could have done a, uh, you could add a white one. You could add a little tree. Let me see. I have a little white one here if you want. Like, so you could add white. You could add the mint. I thought I would do silver for something different. And then we're going to take some of these rhinestones here. And my take your pick tool is out in the other room because I was using it. But I'm going to take one of these bigger rhinestones. I'm going to put it in the center of that snowflake. And then these little, which look, I have some here. I love rhinestones. You can never have too many. I'm going to take just like a few of these and put two more rhinestones on here. Just kind of like that. Okay. So this could be just something something cute you could set out if you do those little um decor decorative tiered trays or you just need a little spot on your mantle or if this would be pretty to do a nameplate for christmas um or new year's you could put everyone's name on there just something fun and different and any paper that you pick behind would look really pretty but i really like this with the that iridescent so i'll try to get a pretty picture of this and um yeah, so there's that frame. So let me know what you think of this, something different than a card. All right, now we're gonna make a card. And we're using that same paper because that piece of paper, this one right here, is one of my favorites in the pack. I don't know why, I just love it. Now, I love pink, but this one is really, really pretty. So we're gonna make an easel card. I, I've done these in the past, but um. Uh, we're gonna make another one with this paper. So what you need is a piece of cardstock that measures 11 inches by four and a quarter, and you're going to score it at five and a half and two and three quarters. So basically you're gonna score it in half and then score it in half again. So grab your bone folder and give a good crease here and then fold this in like this. So this is what you have going on. Okay, next up I have a piece of mint macaron. My light above, you can literally see the two light bulbs right above me, like the line going through there. That is so weird. I don't know why tonight it's doing that. So um, this is mint macaron, five and a half by four and a quarter. I have basic white, five and a quarter by four, and then I have that pretty paper five by three and three quarters. So we're just gonna layer them all together. So layer this. Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me this Wednesday evening. Okay, so then we're gonna add this. Look at I had a scrap paper and I knew that you wouldn't see that line so I'm I'm using it. So add this to here. Uh right here. I was using it to create a template like a while ago. Okay, so here is is our piece here. So now you're not going to want to glue this flat to the front because this card is eventually going to pop up like this. So what we're going to do is just add adhesive to the bottom, the bottom piece here. And so we're going to do this. 
So again, I wanted to just give you more ideas with how to use this paper because I know a lot of you that follow me um, are in my card club and you're going to get some of this paper. And also a lot of you are demonstrators and in my team and you probably already own this paper too. So here are a lot of ideas. So do you see it just attached to that bottom piece there? And now we're going to take, oh, I forgot to cut this. So the same thing, I had a strip of this um, left over. I don't know if I'm gonna use that. I have this piece though, and I have this piece. Oh, I think I'm gonna use this for the inside. That I remember now. So I cut out a Stitch So Sweetly label in white, and we are gonna go to this Evergreen Elegance. Again, this is what I'm using for the club. I love the words, and so any word, Christmas words, um, will work also just so you know but this is only like 21 or 22 dollars it's very affordable and it's the red rubber so I'm going to use may the beauty of the season bring you joy and warm memories to cherish throughout the year so that's what we're going to use you guys I just realized I still have my Halloween display up in my front window here I have not had any time to change it and I probably don't have time tomorrow either so hopefully on when, when Friday, hopefully on Friday, I can at least take it down. Um, I'm so excited to change it out. So we're just going to stamp this in the mint macaron ink right here. Like that. It's like the perfect size. And then we are going to, what are we going to do with this? We're going to put this up here. But I'm trying to decide... If I wanted, yes, I want this behind it. So I'm going to cut this piece down. This is just a scrap to three and three quarters. So let me do that real quick. Three and three quarters. This is the back side of the paper. So it's just really soft and it's pretty. And we're going to take this. It kind of, it frustrates me when I don't have the card like already done ahead of time. Like I don't have a sample so I can like glance over and be like, yep, you're doing it right. So let's hope this turns out okay, like how I kind of envisioned it. So we have this, oh, I wanted to use some ribbon. You guys know I love my ribbon. So I have this beautiful, again, this has been a hot commodity, uh, glittered organdy ribbon. And it's soft. It's not hard. Uh, the Black is a little bit hard, harder, not harder. This is very soft, that's all I'm trying to say. This is soft, that's it. Okay, we're going to wrap this around. For some reason, that piece looks crooked, a little crooked, but whatever. I even have my glasses on, so that's not supposed to happen, right? Okay, we're going to Yes, Linda, this stamp set is a very classic Christmas, and you can, like I'm using it with soft colors today, but you can definitely use it with the traditional colors as well. It does have that border tree punch too, so that's pretty cool. Okay, we have our pretty sparkly ribbon, which again, if you got the retreat, you may be getting a package of this. Okay, we're going to pop this up here. So grab your dimensionals. Look at this. I have a tiny little, oh, those are cut pretty small. I don't want those. Never mind. We're going to add some dimensionals here to the top and the bottom. Now we got to decorate the inside of the card because it's this is a card where people can display it. And so we're going to put this right here like that. Isn't this so pretty? Like, can you see those little stars like glistening in the background? Like, this is so pretty. Okay, so now on the inside, we're going to use this really kind of crazy piece. It's crazy because it might like blind you on the camera. Because So this is just um, four, and a, four inches by five and a quarter. We're going to put this on the inside. So this goes in here. And then we need somewhere to write on. So I have... I went to the stitch so sweetly, and we're going to put this up here. Actually, I already had this cut out, 
So we're going to stamp this here and we're just gonna put this up here. And then on the bottom, on this, we're gonna stamp the Merry Christmas right here. This really pretty Merry Christmas. And I'm going to do just that same mint color. And I should have cut this, I should cut this down first to about the size I want. So about three and three quarters. Uh, yep, I don't know why I always go crooked. <laughs> I like start stamping and then everything goes from straight to like sideways. <laughs> so it's crazy. Okay, so here's this. So we're going to stamp this like that and then I'm gonna take this and make it a little banner so I you can use your little banner punches you guys know I'm always too uh, impatient to grab that so I just do it with my scissors you just slit up the center and then go from the right to the left to the middle and you get a pretty good banner that way too I didn't leave much room on this side hopefully it looks okay Okay, and there we have our banner. So now, in order to get it, this part to stand up, we have to pop this up with some dimensionals. So go ahead and grab a few. We're gonna add like three. I think three is a good number. And we are going to attach this. How do we want this? Let me see. So this is gonna go up here. Let's add it about here. So kind of like play with it to see where you want it to go. So you see that? How cool is that? Okay, we're not done, we're not done, we're not done. So I went with um, the cabin dies and I die cut some trees in silver. So there's um, several little trees I have over here. And so I was thinking, is there should there be a tree on the front? I don't really think, I mean, the front is kind of simple, but I like it because seriously, this paper, this needs a dimensional under here. See, there, there we go. Um, the paper is just really pretty. So you could add a tree, I'm not going to. But on the inside, I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these little trees and add it right there, that little tree there. So I'm just gonna use a glue dot. Okay, so here is this, add a little glue dot. I'm gonna take this little tree here, just like that. You might want a little one on the top too, but there you go. So here's our inside and here's the outside. So from the outside, it looks like just a really pretty uh, sparkly Christmas card. Then you open it up says Merry Christmas you can write your message and sign it and then it can go like that but since there's um you could also add some rhinestones if you want like a little additional little sparkle too so there is that card you see how it stands up like that so really pretty card okay and this actually coordinates with the frame so you could do a little gift like that if you have a little secret Santa or something okay our last thing that we're going to work on tonight is a quick project. And did you see last week that cool gift card holder I did with this paper? Um, so we did this last week using the same set of products. This, so check out that video. It's on my uh, YouTube channel if you missed it. Um, that was really fun. And I just happened to see these as I was reaching for my last thing. Now these are sweet and simple, okay? So these are going to be, if when you are in a hurry and you have leftover scraps, this is a way to use up your stuff. And uh, we're going to do these in no time flat. So I have four pieces of cardstock here that measures six inches by three inches. And you're just going to go ahead and fold those in half at the three inch mark which I should have scored ahead of time, but I did not. So I have Blushing Bride. I have Thick White right here. I have the Mint Macaron. And then I have 
lastly, polished pink. So I understand Thanksgiving is still coming. It's November. I'm aware my birthday sometimes falls on Thanksgiving. And so, um, but I want to show you lots of Christmas ideas because if you need to order anything, you need to do it now so you get it in time so you can make the stuff for Christmas, right? So that's why I'm showing you Christmas things. Okay, so we have our three little cards there. Then I have four white uh, pieces. Actually, I don't need a white for this one. But um, they are two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So those are for the inside. And then I picked some really pretty papers for the outside. So this one is one of my favorites and I haven't made a card in a while with it. And do you see it has like that blushing bride in the mint and um, I think old olive. So um, I have that to go here, I think. Wait, no, how did I have these? So I have this piece again and this one here, here, here. Okay, so we're going to layer these on. Okay, we got these. Hello, Peg and Brenda, Sally. I see some of your comments. Thank you for commenting. Oh, and I saw some of you telling me where you're from. That's seriously one of my favorite things. That must be the, like, geography. I, I have a, um, so when I went to college a long time ago, I have a teaching degree in secondary education, but my major was social studies and then his and minor in history. So I really like geography. So I love seeing where everyone's from. And like on YouTube, a lot of the comments were all over the world. It was so cool. Like there's a lot of people um, in Australia and like the UK and stuff that watch. So shout out to all of you. Okay, so we have these on here. Aren't these just like, they're so pretty. They're so pretty and so simple. And then we're gonna take three of these and we're going to, now I probably should do my stamping first, but I'm just showing you how quick this can be. Um, we're going, it's so quick that I don't even know what we're really doing. We're just gonna figure it out as we go. <laughs> We're going to put these in the inside. I think this just like dresses it up a little bit. You can skip this step, but I think we all have a little bit of white scrap paper laying around, or maybe I'm the only one that does. So I'm just, I just took up scrap, some scraps and cut these up. The white will just leave white. These, these things are driving me crazy tonight. Okay, now we're going to take... I have a half inch strip of white and we are going to take, um, I'm going to go back to um, the Peaceful Deer set for this one. So I, I guess I am using both because again, this ha these have the really skinny, like let's celebrate, Merry Christmas, and it's the best time of the year or from all of us. So we're going to take on this one, I can use the one I want. It's the best time of the year. I'm going to grab my polished pink, and again, this is, I'm going to do this card right here, and I'm going to take this and stamp here. I don't, yeah, did not do a good job, so that's good. We have another piece of, a long piece of paper. Second time is much better. We're going to uh, cut this down here, and then we're going to cut this at an angle, okay? So nothing crazy. Um, we're going to pop this up with dimensionals. So you guys, can you believe that I went to look for dimensionals two days ago, Friday, Thursday, Thursday, and I could not find any. So I just ordered like four more packs because you cannot run out of dimensionals. That's like really bad. Okay, I'm gonna grab me my little rhinestone and I wanna pop one on the end of this thing. I just didn't know I wanted to do that until I did that. And then we're gonna take, um, cause I, now this could be a little tag if you wanted to but I'm gonna have it just be a little card because did you know we do sell three by three 
envelopes in the annual catalog. So if you just want to give somebody a little card, you could fold up some cash and put it in here or a little lottery ticket or something, scratch off ticket. But it says, wishing you a wonderful year and friendships, dear. So there's um, that. And this paper does have a little deer on it. So if you cut the piece where it had the little deer, that would be really, really cute. So um, there's that. That's just a little play on words. Okay, so our next card, this one, we are going to, uh, we're first going to take this thing and clean off our stamp really fast. So, because I put it all in polished pink ink, that rhymed. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do this one in some Blushing Bride. So I'm going to close this up. So, again, lots of fun stuff happening tomorrow. Uh, also, again, on November 10th, that's the deadline for the card club to join my card club. And also, sign up to Paper Pumpkin. We are going to have lots of fun with Paper Pumpkin this year. Okay, I'm doing the best time of the year again. Snipping this off. Add in our dimensional, putting this. Wait till you see them all together. Like one of these is like, eh, whatever. When you see all four of them together, then you're like, okay, yep, I'm gonna go grab out my paper or any paper that you have that you like that's really pretty and I'm gonna make these. But look at this paper. Like you might need another pack of this. Look at, and then the inside, you can stamp your um, inside too. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go on to the next one. So these ones, I'm gonna use the mint on both of them. So I'm gonna keep that simple. So I have another little strip here and we are, I just wiped that on my finger. So let's hope I don't smudge anything. Um, sometimes when you can't find a wipe or a nap, can you just, rub the ink on your finger, or at least I do, just being honest. <laughs> Again, I'm a fast, I don't have time, I feel like, sometimes to do that. Okay, so now we're going to close up our ink pad, and then we're going to take these, so we did two, just snip the end off, snip off, and then I'm going to show you them all together and how fun they are, and this would be a, a Simple little gift you could give two, because we always need those also. Or maybe you just need to make these for yourself. All right, so let's put this on the back. And we're going to put this one here. It's the best time of the year. And maybe it's not the best time of the year for some people. So maybe this might cheer them up. So... Here we go. We're gonna put this here. So there we have it. There's these cute little cards. And again, you can stamp the inside like this one. So then you don't have to write a lot. I mean, these are only, these are really little, but if you really don't wanna write a lot, stamp that on the inside and then you have less to write. But this and this. So you have four cute little mini quick and easy Christmas cards, and then just um, on the in the annual catalog, grab the um, three by three like envelopes and you're all good. And then if you really want, you can cut out some Christmas trees, some snowflakes, some other cute little embellishments, and you can even like stick those on there and in there. Like you could add your little Christmas tree in here and you can always add in, um, I can't think of the word, make them more like up, up them up what is it what's the word I can't think of it um yeah you could also stamp to and from on the inside exactly flow yep that's what I did on some other ones and these could be like little gift tags too and you could um punch a hole and tie them from your packages so yeah just lots of ideas let me know what you think of these let me know what you think of this really fun easel card like this the inside and our pretty little frame that we have here so spice them up thank you susan there you go that's what i was looking for it's like at the tip of my tongue 
So these are our cards tonight. Um, again, what are we going over? Um, I went over the card club, join Paper Pumpkin, Zoom on Friday. I'll be emailing out the Zoom link if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber of mine, or even if you're on my team, I'll send that out to you. Um, November 4th, you can join my team for only 75 bucks and get $125 in products of your choice. You don't have to do what I do. You can just enjoy stamping and you can uh, join me. Um, the retreats will be completely shipped by tomorrow and the site will be up Friday. And then next Wednesday, before I go live here, we're, if you added on the bingo for the retreat, we're going to do that next Wednesday at 7 p.m. So be looking for some emails if you're doing bingo. Um, we're going to be playing quick bingo and you're going to email me your five numbers. So anyway, here's just a list of some things. Oh my goodness, I forgot to put up the new host code. If you want to go shopping, there's a host code. And next, I believe Tuesday, I'm going to be doing my virtual class for November. So on Tuesday, um, I think Tuesday afternoon is when we'll do November virtual card class. So I need to design some cards for that. So lots of fun crafting and creating going on. And I appreciate you all joining me this Wednesday night. I hope you're all doing well. And staying warm, especially if you live here where I live, it, it got pretty cold. And uh, thank you just for spending your evening with me and or watching the replay. And Lynn, Lynn, uh, I just saw Lynn say hello. Thank you so much for your sweet package you sent me last week. Um, I really appreciate it. She sent me some um, a Keurig holder and K-cups, like three different flavors of K-cups. So sweet and thoughtful for my new studio. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you all. I just saw her name pop up and I wanted to give her a verbal thank you. Um, so I will see you all next week. And I might see some of you sooner on the Zoom and different things. So have a great night. If you have any need any help shopping or joining um, the club, the Piper Pumpkin, my team, let me know. I would love to help you. Bye, everyone.